welcome. I know people usually enjoy shorter art videos. Initially, I wanted to make this video short, but with the drawing taking me somewhere around 14 hours of straight drawing to complete, and me filming, well, all of it, um, I didn't want to leave any of my drawing footage out of the video. watch other artists drawing in videos, I don't want to just see the little color here and a little color there and then have them show me the final product. I prefer to watch the whole process of the drawing. I know most people like the shorter content because they just want to get to the best part, you know, the final reveal. But I find it actually really interesting to watch other artists' different processes because, well, Different people have different steps and different orders that they take to complete their works. And I can learn from watching them and be inspired by them. Anyways, this is my first time that I film myself drawing anything, so I didn't really know what I was doing, and I still don't. Um, but I guess I'll learn as I go. So, time for some backstory. My previous boss reached out to me and said that she wanted to surprise her mom for Christmas. Now, way earlier in the year, they had found an abandoned baby raccoon in their yard and adopted him. They named him Peanut and they really loved him so much. But as he got older, they could not take care of him anymore. So, as they were searching to find the best place for Peanut to spend the rest of his life happy, they found a nice man who has helped domesticated raccoons to toughen up, so to speak, <laughs> um, and get them back out into the wild. They thought this would be the best for Peanut. So not only did my previous boss miss Peanut, but so did her mother. Now when I was still working there, I was still in a drawing class and I had the opportunity to show her some pictures of my works. So now, back to December 2020, with those drawings in mind, she reached out to me and asked me to draw Peanut for her mom for Christmas. I asked her what medium she wanted and what size drawing, and she didn't really know. She also didn't have a specific photo of Peanut that she wanted, so she just sent me about five of her favorite photos for me to choose from. So this <laughs> obviously is the photo that I ended up choosing. Um, I thought he looked very cute in all of the photos, but in this particular photo, I liked how the light was angled and hitting his fur. And I also liked being able to see most of his paws and the little glimmer in his eye. I decided for this drawing, with all the shadows and different levels of darkness and lightness on the little raccoon's fur, that I would use ink instead of graphite. Since he was in the car in this photo and positioned in a certain way, I knew I had to have him leaning on something. Since he was going to become a wild raccoon, I decided that I would do a little rock for him to lean on. I wanted it to be his future self. It took many tries to get this rock right. I kept doing it one way, and then I would look up pictures of rocks, 
Yes, I Googled rocks. I literally typed in like boulder or, you know, rock or pebbles or I even, I think I typed in edge of cliff at one point. Um, anyways, I was just trying to add some depth to the rock and ultimately it just wasn't really working out. It kept just kind of looking off. After I don't know how many tries, it ended up looking almost too detailed. I want people to focus on the detailed raccoon, and I don't want them to focus on what his hands are resting on. So in the end, I just decided to make the rock, or as my older brother called it, a piece of wood. I mean, at this point, <laughs> it's really whatever you want it to be, if I'm being honest. Um, I just made it simple. So we did film me bringing her the drawing all wrapped up in a Christmas bag, but for her own privacy, I am only going to be adding the audio of that video in. Also, sorry if the audio is a little weird. It was a phone recording from a distance in an office building, so hopefully you will enjoy her vocal reaction as I show you the final product. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Oh, oh that's gonna be <laughs> It looks just like him. Thank you. How did you do that? You know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> And the whole thing is kind of all easy. You're amazing. Oh, that's gonna make her so happy. Woo! <laughs> I mean, I knew it was gonna be good, but <laughs> that was epic. And I'm gonna write everybody that I got to win your first piece. <laughs> I'm so excited! Yes. Oh, I can't wait to give this to her. It's gonna make her cry. I'm gonna need a coffee. <laughs>